It has been six months since you assumed your position, Master. We hope that everything is to your satisfaction. I cannot deny that the change from doing only secular work to devoting myself entirely to sacred music was challenging, but I believe to have found the right spirit. About that, there's something we've been meaning to discuss with you. Uh, how shall I put it, Reverend? We're afraid that a slight misunderstanding emerged about the meaning of modesty, Master. Exactly. That's it. We are getting the impression that you may be clinging to your old exuberant habits rather than grasping the true nature of faith in Christ. Is my faith under scrutiny, Mr. Mayor? Because I can assure you that... No, no. Absolutely not, Master. We know that a pious soul resides within you, but... It's the way this soul manifests itself. Do not let your adoring be external, but let your adoring be the hidden person of the heart, with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit. Peter 3.3 3. Why, I could not have said it better myself, Reverend. We would be most grateful if you could reflect this gentle and quiet spirit in your music, Master. Your task is to offer our congregation a moment of reflection and affinity with God, not to distract them with theatrical music which only serves the exhibition of the self. I see. I will do my best to attenuate my cantatus to meet your desire. Splendid. That is all we ask. By the way, here are already the lyrics for next Sunday. The destitute shall eat? Yes, freely from Psalm 22. Master Bark, a word, please. Mr. Ernesty? I have to admit that you're doing an excellent job with the boys. Honestly, I was sceptical at first, but the progress cannot be denied. I'm only showing them the way, sir. That's very elegantly put. It suits you. Was there anything else? Yes, I had almost forgotten. There's something I need to ask you. What is it, sir? We'll be celebrating Easter in a couple of months, and it's a sort of old tradition that we remember the passion of our Lord on the tones of music. A passion? And what exactly did you have in mind, sir? Exactly that. The entire passion of Christ, according to St. John, set to music. The entire? That's ours! Yes, but you still have plenty of time. It's not just writing hours of music. We also have to rehearse all of it with the boys. How you fill it in is completely up to you. Within the boundaries we established, of course. Nothing fancy, just some background music for the narrative. You know we forbid an opera in this city, so keep it simple. No costumes, no moving actors. How do you expect me to pull this off with only three months' notice? The contract was clear, plus other works as desired by the most worshipful city council. Yes, but... Or you are always free to pay for a competent replacement teacher. That way you should have ample time. Master Gorno would be most happy to assist. But Mr. Ernesti, I insist! That'll be all, Master. Fourth finger on the sea. Oh, blimey, I missed it again. I'm never going to learn. 
Yes, you will. All you need is a bit more practice because you've got talent to spare. Now you're exaggerating. No, I'm not. Honestly. You're again miles away, aren't you? Yes, sorry. I'm still thinking, you know, how am I supposed to pull this off in just three months? I knew it. That, that contract was only the beginning. They'll always expect more of you. That's not really helpful. You're right. It's just that oh, it makes me so angry watching you wither away because of those ungrateful old farts. <sighs> Don't worry. I'm coping. No, you're not. You're only sleeping... what is it? Four hours a night? How long do you think you can continue like this? I'll pay Gurner to fill in for me. And how much is that going to cost us? The boys are old enough to play in the orchestra. That'll play for Gurner. Aren't you just fooling yourself? You're just a shadow of... Lord our ruler. I'll bring them down a peg or two. was scandalous. My, what a humiliation. We explicitly insisted. No spectacle. No opera. And what do you do? A spectacle. Here. Here it is in your contract. Not too theatrical. Not to distract the pious from their prayers. You, sir, have overstepped. And you? 
You know it. In fact, that's worst of all. You know what you do, and yet you do it anyway. You openly challenge our authority. My authority. It wasn't opera. The characters weren't in costume and they didn't move. That is not the point. It was a scandal. I'm deeply sad that it was not to your liking. I tried my best to make music worthy of our Lord. Worthy of our Lord? It would seem you've grown too big for your bloody boots, sir. May Christ pardon my profanity. But you... You will yield. We've decided that you will rewrite the entire work under the supervision of Master Gurner, who will adapt or discard whatever necessary. What? Let Gurner adulterate the music I spent three months, day and night, creating? That or the door. This time, I leave the choice to you. I still can't believe how Master Bach ruined the entire Easter celebration. You can say that again. How on earth did it come to this? Pardon me for being frank, but I'm wondering how it's even possible that we hired him. Because you are too young and not qualified enough. We needed someone of name and fame. Name and fame? The only fame that Master Bach brought to our city is that he's good at playing the organ. Very good, I admit. But his music with its eerie dissonance is... It's truly unspeakable. Perhaps we made a mistake, but we're going to set this straight. First of all, I will take away Master Bach's authority over the Paulina Church and put you in charge. Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Onesti. How generous of you! Secondly, we're assigning you the task of rewriting Master Bark St. John's Passion and make it acceptable. Are you serious? I'm always serious. I've told Master Bark that you should hand over the manuscript to you as soon as possible. Oh, you've made me the happiest man on earth. Thank you so much for this extraordinary favor. It was my fault. What do you mean, son? Well, that all those people walked out. Um, I, I missed a couple of notes. No, it wasn't your fault. You were great, my boy, and I'm so proud of you. Though you should practice your left hand a bit more. Yes, Daddy. They're not being fair on you. You're working so hard and all they do is pay you with contempt. You shouldn't strive for earthly reward, my boy, but only dedicate your entire existence to our saviour. That I do. Every hour of the day, the Lord be my witness. The Gorner must think that I show him the same devotion. You will do as he says, Freet. The city councils put him in charge of next year's passion, and also you must accept that. But he's a blithering idiot, father. That's not a point. You owe your unwavering allegiance to your superior. You mustn't question him, and you must always do his bidding, whether you agree with him or not. Then, I'm not sure I even want that, Master. 